Welcome today to no communication for us Libras. So it is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It was a heavy request for no communication. We are going to begin for those cards, okay? This is someone that you haven't talked to very recently. It is their intentions and feelings going into the read today. And let's see what no communication brings out. I want to welcome you to the reading. No communication is rather heavy on our channel. So let's just see what comes out in their intentions. The first spot, please. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We have a Knight of Cups. Somebody bringing you a message of, I think it's about love itself. Okay. Bringing you an offer with the Ace. Let's see what the third card is. Justice in the environment. Okay. That's you, Libra. Maybe even another Libra connected to you. All right. And the next one here is the Sun. Clarity. Bringing you clarity through no communication. All right, so it is romantic with that Knight of Cups, first of all. We have a cup of love that is being presented by a loving knight that wants to come through, maybe even break through to their twin flame and express a cup of love. He is bringing that cup for a reason. He's not bringing in a sword. He doesn't bring in a wand, right? He's bringing emotion to the person that he wants to connect to. There could be a water sign here. I have a Libra straight out the gate, potentially a Leo in the sun card. Okay, uh, bringing you clarity about something. Can I get the specifics on that particular something? Uh, Queen of Wands, who he has attraction toward in this second parter. Who he wants to reach, actually. Uh, there is a compelling movement to go towards this queen. Why, why do they want to bring her clarity? What's the cards for that? Thank you. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, immediately. I have the two of them here. They are a divine match and no communication to be direct with her. All right. Um, it is having something to do. When I see the Queen and King of Wands, it's about attraction to her energy. Um, they feel like they're a good match at this time for this person, even on an intellectual level. So they do want to reach in terms of it does have a basis of attraction toward the Queen of Wands. Let's see what else is here. We have an Ace of Swords being very truthful toward her. No sweeping things under the rug. I feel like this is a change of pace for this person immediately off the beginning of this read. I feel like they're not normally like this with other people. They want to bring in a truthful remark toward her. Perhaps they were acting as a King of Wands in the past. And you do have this very important Ace of Swords in today's no communication reading, okay, to bring her clarity. And the two cards for clarity are showing up. We have the sun and the ace of swords. That's intention for me as I read to you. Uh, it's bringing somebody clarity finally in a situation where they've needed it. And the queen of wands, she, uh, she doesn't wait around. She does things on her own time. She's very busy. Uh, so this king of wands almost wants to match the energy. Let's see here what that's about. Thank you, Spirit. The lovers, which is upright, that he has true emotions for this person. It could be coming from a fire sign. Again, we do have Libra here with justice, and we also have that Leo, which I just want to continually remind you of the zodiacs that I have appearing here today. Okay? Um, they are very attracted to your energy now, uh, Libras, if you're the queen of wands. Lover's energy. What's this about? The lover's card and no communication. The high priestess they very much love your intuitive knack for life they appreciate it okay this person and i think this is a little wild i'm using a completely different deck today and the queen of wands was in the first reading which posted already she was there so they're very enthused that you have this very intuitive side to you but you also have a grounded sense with that queen of wands very resourceful person here who can get things done Okay, they also have this effervescence of um, being irresistible, the Queen of Wands. That's what she comes with. She has this allure. Uh, she can be very attractive, the Queen of Wands. So let's see how that attraction pans out. We already have the cards for that. And this person is just getting ready to deliver cups, I think. Okay, um, let's see what's in the lover's position. How do we describe change of events exactly with the Wheel of Fortune? A change of events with that wheel of fortune i think they feel like their destiny um is to be with you i feel like they um 
they have a resonance with you, Libra. So if you're the Queen of Wands, they feel compelled to come toward you at this time. It's almost like a time thing for this person. With the lovers to the Wheel of Fortune, is this happening in the current now? What is predisposed for that destiny card? Death and the King of Cups. Could be coming from an elite Scorpio. I have two Scorpio cards here for the person I'm reading for. Sad about the fact that there was a death. Um, it kind of breathed new life into you. I feel like that ending breathed a brand new beginning for this particular Queen of Wands. In no communication, they find that that's your, uh, that's your secret saving grace at this time. It's almost like it's where it's been keeping you occupied and also in a safe place. This Queen of Wands could be protecting her energy, okay, from outside feelings, uh, also influences. She's leading a healthy life at this time. I can't help with the sun being there. And it's also in another place in your reading today. This person's looking at healthy ways of living. And so uh, that's where they left you prior with that Queen of Wands. Why is this King of Cups here today? Why is that King of Cups here? We have a sideways Two of Pentacles. They were juggling is what I hear. They were, they were juggling a certain place in time, their feelings. This King of Cups looks confused in the past when I see the Two of Pentacles beside him. Confusion, not knowing where to go. Um, this is a very specific message. If this person was dealing with others, they didn't even know how to juggle that situation as well. It's coming in sideways and it looks like an unsurety from the Two of Pentacles person. What has been going on with them? Let's check them. Page of Pentacles sideways and the Four of Cups. So I have the Page of Pentacles, which was like this. Not investing, taking their sweet time is how that Page of Pentacles turns out. Um, also, it's like very undecided. When you see these two characters, you have a juggler and you also have someone who's waiting to make an investment. I sense again, and I'm just going to repeat it, very unsure about the path they were supposed to go down. And now it's turning out as a missed opportunity with the Four of Cups. For this, no communication. And these are heavy for me to do. Um, it was a request, so I'm just going to take my time here to perform the no communication for you. The Wheel of Fortune is about fate and destiny, whether this is their destiny that they're proposing upon you or this is time for you to change the game. I think the Queen of Wands is the, I would dare I say, the owner of this ability at this time, okay? I feel like they have destiny um, incurring on their situation, and I think it's a brave time for the Queen of Wands. This could be DF energy at this time. I also think the Divine Masculine wants to change things here too. So let's see what goes on in the conclusion. On the split, we do have the Fool card which is Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries in this situation or the behavioral characteristics are quite the same as what you're seeing here, okay? High Priestess is a big card and the sun for me today reading for you. You could be dealing with Pisces, Leo uh, aspects in today's reading also. How is the King of Wands doing in no communication? Knight of Swords just flipped right now, wanting to come in with impulsivity or impulsive actions. Can I know the why for that? Why do they want to come in? If I please may know that. The hermit and it's sideways. So this person is preparing to come out of the cold after enlightening themselves. I feel like what I'm getting here is after being unsure, Libras, this person had a lot of time to think through relationships. I feel like they saw relationship dynamics while you've been away. And they've been able to think through it and see something very clear. I don't know if somebody helped them come to this conclusion or they saw something very clear on their own because that lantern is seeing the light in a situation, okay? They could be a Virgo now added to the story. No communication, the ending cards. And I'm just going to take a silent moment here. King of Cups, the King of Wands, a lot of King energy, and the Moon. They feel like they've hidden certain things. Okay, from the truth of the situation, the fact that they didn't, I'm hearing here, come clean when they had time to. And also the timeline proposes in this read, again, if you noticed, the Queen of Wands has the Wheel of Fortune on her side. I've been feeling it since the very beginning. She can change destiny of this course, but this person feels like they hid things uh, truly from the Queen of Wands 
in a respect that wasn't so nice. Okay, I'm feeling that it wasn't so nice as well. Uh, they do want to show up as two kings. So let's look at this in terms of intention. King of Wands comes in rather attractive. They are perseverant and they don't take no for an answer. Okay, and they also have a nice little wand there to share. Uh, King of Cups also in this reading is someone who's emotional. These two dynamics are playing with your person, feeling real things in the King of Cups and also wanting to be dominant in a situation, which is the King of Wands. Um, this moon card can be things that you now know, Libra, through intuition. It's linked to the High Priestess, and you actually have her here in your No Communication reading. She's here. Uh, I feel like you already found out about these things, and your intuition did not lead you astray. They're coming in as, also, they look identical here too. It's almost like after hermiting, this person has had complete thought in the King of Cups. Let's check on that. I want to check out that Virgo energy touching on that Scorpio. Let's see why that's here. It's trying to transform a dynamic. Also, the incoming energy of the Knight of Swords. What's going to be the likely outcome? The Moon, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. It's a lot of water so far. The Six of Wands is success. So they do want to meet you halfway in a victory stance. That's coming in as meeting you halfway and also being um, also brilliantly clear about something. Uh, I do think you will see a change of heart or a change of attitude from this particular person. Uh, they could be a Cancer because I have the Queen of Cups or they see you as the Queen of Cups. It's really watery here at the ending. Just give me a moment because I'm, I'm getting something very nice and specific for you. There's a lot of lover's energy towards the Queen of Wands, no matter what happens to her or what she does. I also think that it's time to unveil those things that they hid from you, because the Moon to the Wheel of Fortune can actually be proposing to tell you that in the 3D, okay? Um, it does lean towards success, and if they're truthful, they might actually get the success if they come correctly, okay, and no communication. I feel like with you being a caring queen, because you're showing up as the queen of cups, I think that you will deliberate this with uh, extreme discernment. There's been some past things here that uh, this person wants you to not see, the king of wands. Showing up twice in the reading. King of wands to the king of wands. They just don't want you to see certain things or for you to forget certain placements that already occurred in no communication. What's that queen of cups? How do they discern this situation? Seeing through to the past. Okay, we have the five of wands. You're seeing through the conflict that was here with this person. Five of wands is competition and conflict. You're seeing past the entire story and you're also creating expansion. I think you are choosing to create this expansion at this time. Whatever creates abundance if this person in the past did not provide uh, abundance to you with that king of wands. It seems like they were unsure and also busy doing something, okay? Where you've now escalated into being a queen of cups and actually creating real expansion in your life. That might be the ticket, okay? There's, there's a ticket here. Uh, a ticket to ride with that queen of cups. All right, conclusion cards now. Can I get to wish fulfillment in the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups? There's something from the past, and I don't know if this is going to be too, too specific for you. There's something in the past right now that's making somebody completely happy, okay? Um, it's a dear thing from the Six of Cups that I feel, uh, and you've tapped into it and you've touched onto it. It could be a happy moment. It could be a season that you are reliving out currently um, and it's fitting in your timeline now. It's something like that where it's making you extremely happy and abundant being single. Queen of Cups to the Ten of Cups. I think this situation um, also involves you seeing through to the King of Wands. I have to say it in this first reading because he's showing up too much as that King of Wands. You are seeing that there is actually something very dear and sweet in the moment as you discern. It's very watery and it's really happy too. The combination between these two is alluring. I love the Queen of Cups to the Ten of, uh, to the Ten of Cups because it means that there's wish fulfillment coming from in here.
Okay, I really love this combo, if that makes any sense to some of you. I think at the very minimal, you will hear this King of Wands out. Okay, just the hearing part. Let's see what they have to offer. One card, please. The Chariot. They're going to be coming in or traveling to you. This means that they're going to make effort to travel or to come closer. They might remind you of something that happened in the past two between the two of you. It might be something only two of you know in the story. That's specific as well from cups to water with the chariot. But it's also something that's going on with you in the current. And like this is the mood, perhaps. Queen of Cups to the ten. Can I get a card to see um, what this feels like? Where is this place right now? Ten of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Thank you. A tower. Something's being retransformed, or the foundation has been broken with a single. And the Ace of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles. Reaping benefits in a new beginning. That's exactly what it's showing. It's you off to your, your own, and you're making a new beginning on your own. You don't need nobody, basically. Um, and I think this is a different conclusion than the rest that we've had. It's a varying conclusion from other readings, if you notice. Uh, it's taking a turn where the Nine of Pentacles is a season of you being happy. And you might not need anyone this time around. Okay, I want to focus um, maybe a bonus later on about this subject because we rarely see this Ace of Wands next to a Nine of Pentacles. That could be your flavor or you could be living in that and no communication. Um, and you find that by creating, I guess this tower is coming in to show you that it's all you need, basically. Okay, the power is within you uh, to create a new chapter as well, closing it on a past King of Wands. That is what I have for no communication. Let me know if it is your story. Okay, um, if I read you correctly today, we have a page of swords and temperance coming up. Page of swords to temperance. Learning to focus on yourself because sometimes you could be the student of your own story. This doesn't necessarily have to be people today that are page of swords, right? Learning to temper and balance that. All right, so we will end here. Might have to do a bonus, you guys. We end on those two cards. Being the student, too, is that page of swords. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to No Communication.